You know, I'm gonna start off today's video with a bit of advice. If you own a boat, there is one thing that is very, very important. A plug. Now there's another thing that's also important. A backup plug. You're bound to make the mistake of leaving your plug behind at least once. So always carry a backup plug in your boat, Dave. I got you set up with a backup plug and a normal plug. We're fishing with my buddy Dave today. He messed up, forgot his plug. It's normal, it's natural. I've owned a couple boats in my life and I can tell you that I've made the same mistake. But we're rigged, we're ready, and now we're gonna try to catch some fish. It is the tail end of November. I don't know when this video will post, but it's the tail end of November, and it's that time of year where fishing is not exactly easy. We got our fish finder, we got our ultralights, we are chasing panfish, hopefully some crappie, maybe some bluegill, who knows? Who knows? The good thing is, feels great out here, and we're fishing. Man, this is a sweet boat. It's the first time I've been in this boat. He had a different boat before and I fished with it. You might have seen him. You might have seen that video where I fished with Dave in the past on his boat. This is a different boat. It's a mighty fine boat. It's a mighty fine boat. I love this boat. It's a great boat. A couple of one inch gulp minnows on a double jig rig. I figure something will eat that. How about that? See who wants to eat. Oh, I should have eaten my Pop Tarts before I used the gulp. Gosh darn it. While we let that sink, I'm gonna eat these cherry Pop Tarts. I haven't eaten any lunch today. I'm a hungry boy. You know, it's funny. I remember as a child, Pop-Tarts being this wonderful thing. And as a grown man, I feel like they're just kind of dry and very mediocre. Just a bite or two is all I ask. I don't need to catch 20 fish. One or two would be great though. Water temp is 41 degrees. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yes. I just had a ah, a little tiny crappie. Yeah, I just had a okay, we found a school of fish down there. I know we did. Now the hard part, honestly, we're right in the wind. What do you know? I caught an absolute dink crappie. But hey, man, freaking on the board. Let's go. So we've been kind of trying to cover water, trying to find something. And we're starting to see what appears to be a school of fish, just an absolute pile of them. Problem is, it's hard to stay on top of them and you really need to vertically present your jig. Oof da. Why's the wind gotta pick up as soon as we find the fish? My gosh. I've only got it on one and that wind is... There's one. Okay, I probably randomly put it on top of those fish. Oh my gosh. Large mouth. <laughs> okay, it is windy. Yes, double. Okay, okay, Ethan. Crank that trolling motor. You got a better fish, it looks like, than me. Oh, yeah. big Whoa, perch. big perch, baby. Boom shakalaka. Multi-species. Yeah. <laughs> it's windy, it's cold, but we're catching a few little fish. That's all we could ask. We're not in some $70,000, $80,000 bass boat with all sorts of fancy equipment. We're making do with what we got. You know what? I'm having fun with it, okay? It's a dang fine boat. Yes, that's a better fish. My drag's all screwy. And drag's definitely loose, but that's a lot better than the last couple for me. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep us in position here. Nice perch, oh, baby. Boom, baby. <laughs> what a beaut. Freaking choked it too. Yes, sir. Feels awful good to catch a jumbo perch like that. There we go. Got it back. They've all eaten the bottom jig, the chartreuse. Yellow perch, baby. All right. There's one. Yeah, it's a small fish. Another little dinky bass. They've all eaten the chartreuse. Dinky bass, the anchor's in the water. We're feeling good. We're feeling real good. Oh, yes, another fish. Another dink. <laughs> hey, man, I'm catching bass, baby. I don't even care. It's late in the season for bass. All right, buddy. I wasn't expecting any bass today, but I've got three. They're all dinks. I don't care. They're bonus fish. I'm here for the perch, the crappie. Maybe a gill. I can't believe we haven't caught a gill. Is it another bass? What's happening? Folks, I'm on the mega school of micro bass. Absolutely crushing them. <laughs> There's one. I'm just drifting this puppy and I have a feeling there's another dinky bass. What's going on with all these small bass? Why are they all stacked up? Where did the perch go? Where did the crappie go? Why am I catching all these tiny bass? <laughs> oh, smacked it. It is a dinky bass. Let's catch another fish. Do -do -do. Do -do. I was listening to the Mulan soundtrack this morning. There's a fish. Ooh, baby, that's better. 
Me likey. I bet it's a crappy. I bet it's a crappy. I bet it's a perch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, this time of year, you catch fish like this, you ought to be pretty darn happy. When I catch perch, my northern accent comes out, boys. Welcome to Michigan. As much as I'd love to turn this guy into a sandwich, I'm gonna let him live another day. It's not about the fact that I don't wanna keep fish. It's about the fact that I wanna spend every last minute fishing and not cleaning fish. Talk about turning the day around, folks. Dave and I are anchored down and we're catching fish. Now, I caught a lot of dinky bass, but we've caught a couple of nice perch. I caught two, he's caught one. Yeah, I'm ahead, don't worry about it. Um, feeling really, really good. Now, the trick so far is to just dead drift um, my double jig rig with bolt minnows on it, and they've all eaten the chartreuse one, which is on the bottom. I don't know whether it's because it's on the bottom or if it's the color. Not sure, maybe it's the scent. I don't know, but I don't care. All I know is I'm catching fish, and I'm so happy because this time of year, it's not common for me to be catching a bunch of fish, so I feel good. Also, it's windy and I'm freezing. My fingertips feel like ice cubes. There we go. That was a great bite. I just felt that vibrate all through the line. I don't think it's going to be a donkey, but it's not going to be a dinky. Oh, it's a donkey. <laughs> it's a donkey, all right. Oh my gosh. Do you have Dude, a net? <laughs> Dude, what is going on? I got to grab him. He's too fat. Get over here, you fat lard. Tina, you fat lard. Holy smokes. Man, that's a freaking juicy boy. That is a freaking juicy donkey is what that is. Man, these are some healthy freaking perch, boys. Dude, I haven't caught a perch that big ever. It's one that's of my better big. ones. I've caught some other ones about that size. That's about as big of a perch as I've caught. It's beauty. You want to do some tradesies with our rods real quick? Tradesies. We're both switching hands. Uh-oh. If I catch a fish on Dave's rod, then I win. I don't know what I win. The Nobel fish prize. Yep. There he is. Caught a fish on Dave's pole. Caught a fish on Dave's Seriously? pole. It's another donk. <laughs> yes. Yes, baby. Oh, my giant. Oh, my gosh. Dude. On Dave's rod. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh my god! Here, who needs to kiss you? Ooh. He just kissed Dave, so now Dave has been blessed with a perch juju. Oh That's my god! Tank. You want to keep this? No. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. oh my beauty! See ya, bud. We're gonna move down that way just a little bit. Try something different. Um, I hate to leave fish, but at the end of the day, we're freezing, and we need to try just a slightly different area, just to try to stay out of the wind, just a hair. I was dead drifting this thing. Yeah. This is not a big fish, this is a dink. Probably another bass, honestly. Hey, it's a little perch. Smallest one of the day. I just literally set this rod down after casting it, just was dead sticking this, and a little perch came up and ate it, so there we go. I bet that's a bass. That's gotta be a bass. Oh yeah. It's too big. Heck yeah, slowing down with a shaky head. What you got, buddy? I bet it's a big bass, dude. I bet it's a four pounder. Oh, there's no way. I bet it's a four pound bass. bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you till this fish comes up. That's a big bass. Oh my God, it's a muskie. No, it's a pike. <laughs> dude, I thought that was a muskie at first. It wasn't a <laughs> I didn't even think a pike would eat a shaky head. I thought it was a muskie, dude. I was so stoked. Not a bad little guy. Love it. I got all fired up. I'm like, oh, a muskie. And then it was a pike. You know, I'm from Kansas originally. All these stinking toothy critters look the same. I thought for sure it was gonna be a big bass. You were so convinced it wasn't a bass and you were right, you were right. <laughs> Plenty of squatting room in this boat. Okay. Okay, folks, we just got back. The boat is loaded. Today's bait of choice, 132nd ounce mule jig chartreuse on a double jig rig. It was the bottom jig. It did work. Caught some nice perch. 
Dave on a shaky head caught a nice big old pike. Shout out to Dave and shout out to this boat right here. Now, the next cool thing that came out of today's video is I have another rod and it's thanks to Dave because he picked, oh, it's windy. Sorry for the wind. Dave picked me up a Daiwa Procyon six foot two ultralight. I'm going to review this at some point, probably early in the season in 2022. What I can tell you is it feels dandy and I'm excited to fish with it. The rod I used today was the Temple Fork six foot ultralight. This thing's dandy, love this thing. Uh, Shimano Sedona 1000, four pound anafil with a four pound monofilament leader. Boom shakalaka. You got anything else to say? It's cold. You want to get in your truck, don't you? I do. That's where the heat's at. Let's ramble for another, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> see you buddy.